Well, I'm just gonna accept. Oh. Uh, never mind. I just didn't walk to the right place. Incredible. It's like a classic horror movie. Uh, should I hurry to the village? I should hurry to the village and stop him somehow. By the way, I wonder where he's hid his sleeping coffin. You shall not pass, foul creature. No, no, no. Defend yourself. Hey, I'm talking to you. Have some respect. You have to speak louder. He's deaf. This world's gone crazy. Deaf vampires? This is my garlic munching vampires? What's next? Um, stop, you monster, and fight me! Huh? Mm, there's no point, young man. Your wife's blood doesn't suit me. And as for you, you really don't seem tasty enough. You will die a long and torturous death for this insult. You bastard, defend yourself! Mm, I admire your logic, not to mention your fervor, but if you don't leave me alone... Uh, he's not alone, we'll stop you. Hey guys, there's no need to kill each other, let's talk first. Keeper, this is not your business. I asked you not to bother me. Now face the consequences. I didn't do anything. Holy. Hey, I can't see, that's no fair. Even if you escape, I know where to find you and sleep well. Oh no. I've been knocked out. Where am I? Did I did I die? Is this heaven? Hmm. Heaven? No, it's more like the opposite. This is my tent and you're alive. Hugh, I remember you. You're a vile vampire. No, he's not, but okay. Wait a second. Why didn't you kill me? And hey, you can hear me? What the hell's going on? Well, you were unconscious, I borrowed part of your hearing. You can do that? Don't worry. As you can tell, your own hearing has already regenerated. But why did you suggest I might have killed you? Well, because of everything. You know, you're a monster, your secret, and I... I am no monster, and I am not so foolish as to kill the graveyard keeper. That would ruin everything. I had planned to do something rather naughty to you, I admit. Oh, God. But I have since changed my mind. I'm glad that you did. Since you managed to track me, you're far more capable than I imagined. You might even be useful. I won't help a vampire. Just help the dude. You drain dead bodies of blood all the time. Hmm, I'll leave you alone for a while. Calm your emotions. Shed your ridiculous delusions of heroism. I'm, I'm fine now. Time's up. Now, <laughs> listen to my words. You have to make a choice. The ancient curse, it has returned, and I must stop it before it's too late. This is my duty. It's written in the ancient contract. Should I fail, a thousand bloodthirsty zombies will flood the town, the village, and even your graveyard. But the problem is, I am already too advanced. I can't deal with it all on my own. I need your help, Keeper. It's... it's so rather unexpected. I need to think. I see. You're welcome to ask any questions, but remember, we're running short on time. That's fair. Okay. Um. So what did the shepherd do to you? Absolutely nothing. A little bump in his head and it was completely harmless. I suppose it might even do him some good. Anyway, he's at home and his wife is looking after him. Cool. Uh, so you've been a vampire since you were born? No, I was contaminated over 30 years ago. Some vampires kidnapped me, put me in a cage, and tortured me and then did this to me. I hate my curse more than anything, but there's no cure for it. I drink blood only in the most desperate situations to avoid a terrible death. Why'd you attack the villagers? I didn't want to, but I'm nearly dying of hunger. If I tried to attack anyone on camp, Theodo Theodoro would easily find me out. Remember a movie, there was a guy who drank rat blood or he'd, I do not fear death, but I cannot leave this world without fulfilling my duty. Um, so what's that ancient curse? It was laid upon us nearly two centuries ago when the disciples of the New Age destroyed the ancient bridge. Departed souls could no longer find the way to the land of the dead. They grew mad in despair and returned to their bodies and began killing everyone. 
The walking dead flooded the world. Only the ancient god and the ancient contract save humankind from annihilation. Um, so what is this ancient contract? It contains a list of dictates to stave off the ancient curse. It was agreed to go by the representatives of the new and old faith and the ancient god. My brothers and I, as signatories, were obligated to follow it faithfully and execute all of its conditions. We did so for nearly 170 years, but as you can see, we failed eventually. Ah, so you're even older than Moses. Not bad. I always considered it strange that graveyard keepers weren't informed of all this stuff. In the end, you're the guarantors of the contract. Uh, what? So why did the ancient curse return? Because of the st stictures of the ancient contract were violated too many times. So what do you mean? The Inquisitor's cruelty, the cult's brutality, the ship of the dead stuck in the harbor. And most importantly, we haven't had a graveyard keeper in the past 30 years. Your predecessor was killed before you, and the next chosen keeper were even born. There must always be a graveyard keeper. They are the guarantors of the contract, and that is why I asked that we first meet about the role you play. Okay, so why won't your brothers help the curse? It is not the time or place to discuss them, perhaps one day. But for now, know this. We can only rely on ourselves. So how do we stop it? The curse began to return after the Great Blast, according to the information that I have. The fourth keeper, your predecessor, has been killed in the Great Blast. So we must unmask the murderer of the fourth keeper. The only person who triggered the curse can stop its spread. Well, it looks like I'll be playing Sherlock Holmes for a little bit more. So there's nobody else who can help with this curse? Nobody. The other signatories are bound by a seal of silence, except for me and my brothers, but it's useless to count on them. Still don't know why we're not doing it. Anyway, I'll agree to help. I know it's not an easy decision, but it is the right one. Let's see. Stop the ancient curse. Perfect. For starters, take these scrolls. Uh, they'll help you save a lot of time traveling. Then we should... we should... Oh god. Master Ulrich, what happened to you? Wait, I'll call the Marquis. No, he's just starving. No, never him. If he learns that I'm a vampire, he'll pierce my heart with a wooden stake with the greatest of pleasure. Blood. Just a drop of blood. Please hurry. Blood? Well, I doubt corpse blood is tasty, but if we're out of options... Um, thankfully, I have a lot of that. Let's go run down over here. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm just gonna drop this. We'll handle it when I get back. You know what? I'm just gonna take it all. Um, while I'm at it. Oh, God. Yeah, like I said, I'll handle that later. Nothing fancy, just a way to get around the last disposable. I'm just gonna put those in here, because I think I'm gonna need those. Uh, go back to the refugee camp. Oh, God. Give him blood. Blood supplier. Hmm. Well, it's a bit bitter. But the taste was amazingly foul. What was it? Corpse blood. Or were you counting on me to ask some villager to volunteer his blood? Oh, no, no. Not again. Uh, hello, diarrhea. But you're right. Thank you, in spite of it all. If you wish, I can bring you some regularly so that you can stop bothering the villagers. Hmm, it's a deal. And paying you for this service would, would be the honest thing, wouldn't it? Okay. I have something for you right now. It's my old vampire's sunscreen. 
You can show it to them as evidence of the vampire's demise. Then the villagers will stop worrying and you'll get your reward. Thank you. May I ask why you... Uh, did you say that Theodoro would gladly kill you? Because it's true. But that is one of the burdens that cannot be shared. You passed out and never finished your thought. Ah, yes. We must find the vampires who captured me and tortured me 30 years ago. I remember they asked me about the ancient contract and the ancient curse. I'm sure they're somehow connected to the curse and the great blast. Where should I start looking? Do you have an address? I don't know, but they sort of disappeared after the great blast. So the trail is cold. Okay, let me think. Hmm. Astrologer told me that he and the fourth keeper were attacked by the vampires. Some strange magic turned their attack into vampire jaws. Maybe it's possible to find these jaws and disenchant them? <sighs> I've heard of this place. I should inform Ulrich. I know where we should start looking, but that event happened so long ago. Any clue must be gone. Hmm. That's not a great problem. Borrow the Witcher's Eye from Theodoro. It's a special artifact for discovering things that are shrouded in the Veil of Time. Aren't you coming with me? I'm still too weak from hunger. And daylight is deadly to me. Oh, that's why you've been in here. Alright, well, I'll tell you if I find anything. When I close my eyes, I see my brothers. Oh, how I miss them, despite everything. Give him blood. Thanks, but that's more... Oh, okay, so you only need it... Oh. That will help me through one more day. Tastes like mud. Corpse blood again. Tastes like marsh mud. It's better than nothing. Cool. Well, now I have a way to just give you constant blood. Uh, it makes us alike. We live off of death. You and me, and the worms. I miss regular food. I'd even be willing to eat celery. Yep. Okay, cool. That's all we got. Alright, so... Let's go home. Oh, I've got bodies to tend to. Like, a lot of them. So we're gonna have to do some thinking. Oh! So refreshed. I heard that the graveyard keeper is an extraordinary individual. But nobody warned me that he's also a handsome man. And your beard is so long, so attractive. Calls out to me to touch it, to immerse my fingers in it. Um, thanks. It's unusual, though, to hear such words coming from an inquisitor. Does it surprise you that a beautiful and intelligent woman can be an inquisitor? See for yourself, my dear. Not all female inquisitors are lonely, bitter, old, ugly hens. Her voice is hypnotic. Her eyes. Oh, I feel naked. It's awful. May I know your name and the purpose of your visit? Oh, I adore direct men, Lady Beatrice. I am looking for someone. Someone... Who, oh, what's that disgusting smell? Is that corpses? Ah, you have perfume. Sorry, the answer is yes. Um, I, I'm a graveyard keeper. Like, what, what do you expect from me? Please stop doing that. It smells unbearable. What? It's a revolutionary, unique air freshener. Really, you prefer the smell of corpses? Definitely. At least it doesn't make my eyes water. How disappointing. I had hoped on a more arousing encounter. Perhaps next time. Sorry, uh, you didn't say who you were looking for? Heretics. Sentenced to, to the holy fire. They escaped from prison and fled down. With the help of an old inquisitor who betrayed his faith and his god. Huh. I'd love to help, but I don't know anything about it. Hmm. Don't worry, my dear. You've already helped. What is she doing? What was that? It smells strange. Dried cloves and lilies. Beautifully combined 
with the rotting smell of corpses. Okay, well that's terrifying. Alright, so now we have to ask him about Lady Beatrice. And she didn't care about all of my zombies going on over here. Okay, noted. Um... Oh god, this dude. Anything we can... Nope. Alright, um... We're gonna have to give you guys something different. To work on. Uh, instead of wheat and carrot. Onion. And pumpkin? Okay, put that there, and that there. Uh. Okay, we're gonna go with 150. Actually, no. We'll go with 200. Main reason being is that'll make it easier to do things with. All right. Well, I got us a couple. Oh god, I have to go do my sermon. And I still have bodies to handle. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Uh, well, we've almost got the graveyard up to snuff. Keywords on almost. Okay, so I think... I think we've got everything. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Uh, yeah, no. I think I think we're on the way to get everything that we need done. We still have to buy that land. Which, once I get the land, it should be easier to make a lot of money. Which I need to get to be an aristocracy or whatever. An aristocrat. Um, no. I guess I can build a soul receiver in here too, which I'm gonna do real quick. Any out here? No. Maybe I should make a wooden prayer station. <sighs> kind of hard to tell at this point. Let's take that. And I guess we can knock some of this out real quick. Okay, let's just move one whole stack out. Okay, well, we got a lot happening here. So remove the sin shard. I'm gonna go walk this over. So I'm gonna try to double up on just as much stuff as I can. Okay, put you there then. Mr. Four Six over here. Can't do anything. Okay. About four three. Good God. 
Is it just that I let these sit for so long that that's why their souls are just shattered at this point? Because I'm less and less sure now, but... Fat. Bone. And skin. Alright, now I can go through this guy in the furnace. Go ahead and burn. I hope this guy's got a cursed organ in him. I'm just trying to get some of these organs done. Hey, there we go. We got dark brain. I'll handle that in a bit. Okay, fat. Skin, flesh, and bone. All right. Um, one of the things I wanted to do real quick. So let's put that away. Okay, I can put those away for the time being, but. What I wanted to do was take out all 13 of those. Yeah, that guy can wait there for a second. Uh, oh, hello. Thank you, I will use that real quick. Um... Right, the powder. Alright, uh, we'll just take that. Gotta go drop some stuff up upstairs, too. Um. No. Yeah. I haven't studied any of these. I mean, that's fine. I don't necessarily need to, but... I don't know. It just seemed weird to me that I didn't. I got a story out of that? From studying a plank? Alright. Uh, God. Okay. Um, we'll put some of the rest of that upstairs. Oop. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Double the faith and a better story. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I gotta go finish taking care of these bodies before they come back to bite me. Uh, no. We want... Knock out what we can really quickly and then go back to burning and burying all of our bodies. That'll be much needed, I'm sure. Especially now that I don't have to go outside to go burn them. That is much more preferred. And last one. Okay, drop all that off. Good. Okay. So we'll take you and while we go. Drop that off. Guess I should take that to move it. Same with that. Okay, well, all the rest of the bodies are currently handled. So that's good. 
And ash, just in case. Take that. Yeah, it's not... It's Women's Day. Man's Day is when I'll be handing over... Uh, when I'll be handing over everything. No, oh, you're kidding me. I can't even... Good God. Well, let's see if I can knock this out real quick. Just so that this way I can get them all out of my inventory. Because I will need that pigskin paper for later. I know me. I guess I should probably make more containers, I guess. All but two. Let me just take those out. All but one. God. Alright. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. <sighs> Just play knock out what we can. Okay. And that should be better, I guess. Currently unsure. Okay, so that's less. That's less. Oh, and I forgot to do the... the eh, whatever. Gotta drop some paper off up here. Because I forgot. Anything else I should grab while I'm over here? I'll need those for tomorrow. Ugh. Nothing else with this currently, but we'll set this guy up. Yeah. Okay, there's ten. Let's go back to the quarry. down. <sighs> okay. Um. There. Much better. Uh, I know there's still stuff I need to be doing. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, I know I needed... Oh, but I also needed four... Because <sighs> there's the four of those, but I also need polished marble. I'm working on it. At least I can take this. This game... Oh, that's right. I just read that. My brain is, like, not having any existence right now. Rest of this is so far solid. Um... Oh, let's just have you make a couple energy potions for me. Save me on some time. Okay, we got one. Alright, he can lay there for a second. Okay, we'll let that work its way out. Okay. 
take that. And then the rest of the shards I can put in here for now. Okay. That's one more down. Um, just take out the basics. Uh, honestly, I think that's it. Well, I guess blood's a basic now that I sell it. Everything else kind of matters a little less. Since I just have so much. Okay, let me make sure that that guy is done. Okay. Take the soul shard, sin shard, whatever it is. Blood. Right now I'm only taking the stuff I could sell anyway. Talk about convenient, right? Um, where is... Yeah, that would give me some health back, but not what I was looking for. I guess we'll just use one of those with the uh, metabolism boost. Man, that's so convenient just to have it all right here. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anyone good enough that I want to... Oh, hey! Dark Intestines! Super convenient, thank god. Because I need those. Skin. Or flesh. Blood. Cool. Let's take your body and go. Man, that's convenient. Okay. Oh, hey, yeah. Let's uh, turn that on before I forget. Right. It's got four negatives. I don't think anything else. But man, that's wonderfully easy. Okay. So, yeah. For next uh, man day, then we have all the intestines we need. Wonderfully convenient for that. Okay. Good thing I've been doing nothing but taking, like, blood. Uh, just drop off the sin shards while I'm at it. But I am going to want to put that one through the thing. This way I can get all my points out of it. Okay, so we don't have... Nope, okay. Um, well, I wouldn't be able to resurrect this guy. Maybe we can do something more with his body? Oh, nope, there's some intestines. Okay. Holy cow! Okay, that's perfect, actually. Hold on. Take the body. We're gonna go bury him over here in this courtyard. Okay. Not enough, man. There we go, perfect. One of those. And one of these. Perfect. We got you to 90 or 190. I only need 10 more. <clears throat> okay. So, while I'm here... Um, okay, I'm going to take one of these. That can go in there. Um, and I got to drop off 
these four. Just in case. Okay, ba ba da da da. And then I've gotta get ready to grab some stuff to. Oh god, am I gonna make it in time? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, and that too. Okay. Into a powder. Okay. Oop, that, well, that wasn't what I wanted, but okay. Oh god, I don't think I'm making it in time. Yeah, nope. Oh, I figured I probably wasn't going to, but... Let me try, anyway. Oh, maybe? Hey, take them all. And I'm just going to take four silk back as payment. Oh, talk about that timing. Man, that was crazy good. Okay. Um, since I'm here, I might as well present my proof. And also uh, sell some stuff first. There we go. Much better. Um, find the vampire. Vampire's dead. Buy some land. Uh, hey, how about you sell me a piece of land? Of course. Let's see. Taxes, fees, facilitator services. That'll be, oh my god, 9,682 gold. Are you kidding me? It's the law, but I can give you some free advice. Buy the land in the name of a very poor and old villager. You'll get plenty of discounts, uh, benefits and discounts. Someone like Dig. Oh. Um, give him Ulrich's sun cream. Look at this. I took this from the corpse of the vampire. You did it. Amazing. You've helped us enormously. Oh, thank you, thank you. All our village is grateful to you, our hero. What you have done for us will not be forgotten today. That's cool to hear. So, so, my reward? Reward? Oh, I'm sorry, I entirely forgot. I must warn you that the economic situation of our village is not the best. Hardrick, my reward. The town's duties have increased and the harvest hasn't uh, been good these past few years. Hardrick. Here it is. <laughs> it's a sad day that even heroes can't show compassion for their common villager. Hey, I need it, though. That 50 is going to be the perfect amount to finish out the clotho thing. It's almost like they knew. Well, I mean, they probably did. But, because it's all part of the DLC, so... Yeah, they pay it out. Is he still here, or... Oh, he's still here. Hey, Dig. Bing dong, bing bong, bing bang bong. Dig it, am I? Am I Dig? How about the land purchase? Dear cake, dear cake, let me take... Let me bake... Dig, you wouldn't mind if I bought some land in your name, right? Dear cake, dear cake, let me take, let you bake. I'm planning to build a tavern there. Dear cake, dear cake, let me take, let you bake. Ah, uh, nah, you obviously don't mind. Um, yeah, we're good there. I honestly could sell him some firewood, though. Um, is there anything else... I don't think so. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm a guard in the dark, is that what that... What do you just... Why would you... Whatever. Uh, could I buy a piece of land in old Dig's name? Of course! Tell me, he's in good health and high spirits? Yeah, 
But about his sanity. Oh, poor, poor old Dig. If only you knew. No matter. The cost of the land is 30. Oh, hey, here it is. Uh, by the way, could you help me build a tavern? What? Do you want me to... You want to... In you intend to compete with me? I never. Don't worry, it's just a hypothetical question. Cory and his brother, Tress, they're the best specialists. Thanks a lot. Bye. Uh, where are you? Who are you? I don't know who that guy is. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, aristocratic papers. Inform him about the threat. Uh, yeah, I'll work on that in a minute. Uh, I gotta give Clotho 50. Find out about the next two shards. Okay, well. Give me a minute. Um, oh. Corey, Mason, trades in everything related to stone and production. Okay, well, it's too late at night. Um, I think they dropped off a body, so I'm gonna have to handle that real quick. Oh. All right. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, put those in there. Um. Oh, hey, Snake. I don't think there's anything I need from you today, Snake. But I can drop off this story, at least. Is there... I really don't think there's anything else. Um. No, I got more hearts over there I gotta go do something with. Um. Why is the powder there and not over here? I'm gonna go put that somewhere else. Um. I thought- oh, that's solution. I need powder. Okay. Now we have death powder. Perfect. Much easier to deal with. Okay. Yeah, take all that out. Um, guess we'll put the flasks in there too. Least ways for right now. Um, and then go to sleep. Okay, so we gotta go warn our buddy. 